What's up guys? Welcome back, I'm Daily Fix. We're playing EU4 here as Bavaria. Um, as, of course, as always, it, it's on Twitch. Uh, if you feel like it, join me on Twitch there because it could be mighty, mighty fun. Um, in uh, three years' time, the truce will expire with Austria, which is very interesting for me uh, because I would like to see this ruler die. Uh, but he's 24, so that's not going to happen. But we want to make sure we want to make sure that he looks like a pussy. <laughs> yeah, he's going to look weak. I like that. I need to really mind my language. Also, we can build more troops. Um, the comet wave is 27 still, and right now we've been focusing on merging armies. And at some point, when we reach like, I don't know, like. Uh, like like 70 troops. I want to make sure that we get some decent size stacks because that that's the best of course. So right now um, That's 14 and this is 13. So that is 27. We can build two more cannons in each of these armies Which is no, but it's, it's not a bad thing. Let's just definitely do that uh, we got well, if, if the ruler of France dies, we might get a personal union on that. Pomerania is 24, so that's not going to happen. Uh, Brittany. Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. What is your problem? A noble von Salm will succeed to the throne. Would he actually... No, he's not going to royal marriage. We could actually improve our relations with him. And that would most likely help. So let's go in there. Uh, we will be getting more spy network here on Austria because we can actually take two more claims. Not not that we can take that because uh, aggressive expansion is quite a big thing. But even if we just make him look bad, I would just enjoy that because currently, I believe it or not, one, two, three, four are going to be voting for moi. Uh, although imperial grace and stuff like that, I'm kind of hoping that we will eventually become the um the holy roman emperor we'll just see how that will go for us uh currently we're making a shit ton of money so let's take a look courthouses uh where do we see that again it used to be in here somewhere it's in here so we can still go for a bit here 208 and what are the benefits will we get more Monthly autonomy, ch uh, autonomy change and province governing cost, state maintenance will go down. I believe that we need this everywhere, uh, but we can always build these, I think. Uh, currently, I would maybe build three of them. Maybe. We can also go into f uh, two more trade and uh, we'll do that. I think everything should just go forward. The more money we make, the better, right? Innovativeness, we're five years out of time on Diplo. Uh, let us extend the Monopoly right now. Because, well, we don't have to do anything else. These guys are somewhat happy. Are there some cool new options in here? I believe so. There, there could be some cool options. Missionary strength, tolerance of the heretic, oversight but close. Yeah, we took that away from him. So, no. Uh, nobility. Strong duchies. Oh. Oh, now, hello. Now, that might be interesting. Um, you are happy enough we can actually take land. We should. We should take land. Diplomatic re uh, relation plus two. That is really strong. Keep that in mind. And the burgers. Enforce interfaith dialogue. Torrents of the Erectus plus two. But the clerisy loyalty in Combrium will go down to... Yeah, about 50. Maybe not. Maybe we should take the monopoly on paper as well. Although, no income from paper. And we'll gain mercantilism. I kind of want to get a lot more of that. So we could do that for a bit. And by the time that we'll get it. Unlawful territory from Austria. Ah, that's going to be quite nasty. He's going to be demanding that stuff back. And, and we know that. It's, it's not happening. It's because of Prague. It is not happening. We got some good allies who will come to our aid. Uh, where are we in? Burger still. Shall we go with the Monopoly and Texiles as well? Let's just do that. And for you... 
I quite like the strong dodgy idea. So there we go. And right now, let's take away land. Uh, that gives us 71. So that's quite nice. Uh, they're all still very happy, which I do do like. So how to deal with this unlawful territory demand from Austria? Well, he's in a truce with me, so I don't think he will attack me. We got some people who want military access. We'll give that. And we will build some barracks over there. Do we need more castles? No, we should start saving up for manufactories. Eventually, not right now though. Production is quite weak. Uh, let's just build those two, whatever. Um, we'll use our points. Are we working any idea groups? It's been a while guys, I'm sorry for that. So, quantity ideas, and we could go religious later for the juice fault, considering, well, it, it looks like a mess. It really does look like a mess. And by the looks of it, it doesn't look all too good for Austria. Actually, no, they're pro they are Catholic, which is nice. Good for you. Good for you, mate. Will he declare on me? I don't think he will. Uh, what are you doing in my land, dude? Get out of my land how dare you it's oh man that's just breach that's just a damn breach uh reminder dead with poor ella ah someone's trying to fish for my stuff again interesting that plus, i love to see like plus 15 plus 15 for me is like a whole new world you know that brilliant i like that let's keep building up Improving relations there. Supporting our heir with the Commonwealth. Uh, religion has converted to... Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, I hate it when that happens. And we can't do anything about it yet. Tolerance of the heretic. Well, if we ever choose to... Flip. Hmm, maybe. Not right now, though. I, I wanna... Maybe we'll just stay Catholic. Could you just get... Who are you fighting with? Uh, Bosnia, Saxony, Venice... Oh, wow. Ooh. Uh, Siege ability plays. I don't like the other one. Uh, this is going on automatically. Let's just keep building up here. Uh, we're almost at our cap. 1016. Can invest more trade. Let's do that. Yeah, let's just invest in those buildings. Uh, we're going to be investing in our provinces because we do need to change that. Currently, we're, we're like place 11? No, place the 20th. Oh, that will change. We will become a great power. So forward to that. So cool. Okay, so how bad is it now looking? Because uh, he did want to take my uh, land back. Oh, that's so sad. 58. Uh, how long does it take us to build that uh, down? It looks like unlawful territory is 1.7. Uh, aggressive expansion, 3.4 per year. That ain't bad. Surplus. Infantry cost negative. Oh, that is gorgeous. That really is gorgeous. I like that. I do like that. We might want to invest in upgrading some of these fortresses. Since they are very important to actually have. And in terms of territory, <sighs> maybe just go towards Hungary. We have to do something about the Commonwealth at some point, but if we could just become the next heir, there is a 35% shot. Now, mind you, this guy is ancient. So we could get a personal union here, which I would really, really enjoy. When can we call this? 73. I was doing something over here. Oh, okay. Damn, I forgot, completely forgot about my mission there. Oh, they're not going to like that. Uh, friends is having an arrogant. I'm sure they are strong. He is. Veil is still, come on man, you're marrying my princesses. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. How much do we need here? 40. Now we'll just wait. 
Eventually, let's take a look here. Ah, there we go. We got Imperial embracing stuff. Everyone's going to flip. So, there's something going on. We might need to break this um, Brandenburgian alliance with the Commonwealth. So, if we were to declare on Anfalt or Luxembourg. Is it Luxembourg? It's uh, Le uh, Leuenberg. So, Anhalt. I don't think of any reason to declare on you. You're allied to Brandenburg. Okay, well, we figured that one out. And where was Loenberg again? This really tiny country, right? It's over there. Salzburg, Brandenburg, Munster. That would not be such a big problem, actually. Let's get you back. Since I don't think Brittany is on there anymore. No, nope. yeah, it's gone. Are you now on the PU? Oh, independence guaranteed. Oh, wow. Oh, there's something going on there. That is for sure. Let's go over here. So if we were to war deck you, we don't have claims. So that's going to be a bit of... He's not going to join. He Are you not going to join here? Now, who is supporting... Then how is this 66,000? Now, that seems very odd. 13 over there. 2. Where's Munster? 3. Who's the other one? Saxe. Where's Saxe? That's nothing, dude. How do you get those troops? Is Austria counted in with that? Since he is, of course, Emperor. Oh, we could take stuff from Austria. Oh, he would be pissed. Oh, yeah, not only him. I think we would be um, doing ourselves a bit of a favor if we were not declaring war on that. So, we got gold over here. We can't spend that. Uh, we can actually use some admin. Are we behind on admin? No, three years in advance. So, we'll just use whatever it is that we can use. Uh, development edict is on. Let's give it one, two... Uh, will you... I don't want to use that. Can we reach 20? Kind of want to reach 20. There we go. Uh, what else? Over here. Local development is on as well. Ah, come on, man. I won't click. I would have loved it to do. That would have been quite nice. There we go, that's two clicks, and we'll do that one more time. Uh, we're getting more money anyways. So currently we're on the 19th place. A military access from Switzerland. I think Austria is not looking good, guys. Actually, he's winning this war, which is odd. How's my drilling going? So 12%, so we can actually use that to increase manpower. Let's see, all of these guys. We should start investing and getting them higher. Uh, once they die, we'll go for for level 2s. Hey, Coven AFK, welcome, man. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, what do you see? Because this average guy, he's 62, so that, that's not going to be very well. 3, 4, 5, though. So, more military points, uh, a bit less in the admin. How are you doing, mate? How are you doing? Uh, let's take a look over here. Uh, land force limit. Uh, should we go for that? Also, fourth level twos. No. Oh, this game is... Man, I, I, look, I'm not a pro. If you're here for, for pro gameplay, no. You're definitely on the wrong... I've got 303 hours, and I'm loving it. It's a bit rough to get into, but... Oh, damn. This game is amazing. I usually... My breakoff point is like 600 hours in a game. And for this, I'm so amazed. I am so amazed. Also, uh, 45 there still. We got no boats. Prague's being done. How is... Let's see. There we go. Edicts. What are we doing? Uh, defensiveness. Uh, get that off there. We don't need it anymore. 
Encourage development. We can actually get rid of that. Get rid of this. Make more money. Uh, we'll prepare for a war with Austria again. Uh, we'll keep drilling because that's just lovely. These guys are getting better and better. Uh, but definitely, man, you made it wrong. Uh, how do I get more troops? It is usually... Um, th there's this. You get more territory. And that territory has development. If you click a province, it does tell you, like, manpower. And that manpower is, I think, like, tied into how many troops you'll get. I'm not particularly sure there. Let's see. Uh, here actually says everything. Land force limits. Uh, we are currently capable of supporting 45 land units without penalties. Uh, basis plus 6. Cologne gives us 2 because he's a vassal. Mainz gives us 1.7 because he's a vassal. The Palatinate gives us 2. And we get 21 from provinces. So it, it's like development. If you hover over military, it shows you that... Um, max manpower goes up by 323, garrison growth by 1, uh, and, and all of that stuff. So eventually, that, and I don't know the math, like people like, probably Chewishu, like Roomba, uh, and all of those guys, they know the math behind it, because, you know, mathematics is really important in this, in this game, uh, but I don't know all of that. But actually, uh, so if you increase military power, just developing your lands, Get more territory um, and buildings. So if you go to buildings, you have the army tab over here. Local manpower modifier plus 500. Usually I do everything that is above to... Well, we could actually build these without too much problems, but I don't want to. And there's also it's the regiment camp. Land force limit plus one. They're quite expensive, but they're quite good. And eventually you'll get to uh, technology and it shows you right here. So a uh, conscription center requires military technology 22. Now if I can give you some piece of advice, don't fall behind on military tech. The rest, if you fall behind like 15, like negative 15%, it, it could be easier for you to just make sure that you almost hit your cap and uh, see how much points it actually need to double take double dip. Uh, you you click it twice in one month, and you will get that plus fifteen percent uh, discount on both of those clicks. So that will help you catching up. I was very very behind, and now I'm three four years ahead of time. Uh, also, estates can help you a bit. That's a good thing. Don't forget to take your land back every now and then. It's good for like uh, when. Um, when is that thing? The age of absolutism gets started, which is, I believe, usually around the 1600s, uh, which is just great. Uh, soon we'll get the Reformation thing going. So, yeah. I hope, if you've got questions, if I know the answers, I will definitely do my best to guide and assist. Because, you know, that, that's what we're here for, right? That's why we do this. Uh, neighboring country, outrage. Let's go with allies with one. Uh, there we go. We can get another claim here on Austria. Uh, he's been sieged down. Actually, we do need more grain. Uh, grain and grape. But we want to go towards Wien. Because that is trade. And trade's good. Trade's really good. Also, we need to save up to increase these uh, estates. But going to Wien would be quite nice so be like just take the province over here i would say let's take a look what's the province here all of this is a province oh that's nice let's go get a claim here then uh we'll get that eventually eventually look austria is is just weak it's now one two three four against one two three which is very annoying but we'll get there we need to just make we need to make sure that austria looks like a damn fool it's forty thousand troops hey look at that i have more troops than he has and in 55, the truce is up. Uncontested claims. What's going on over here? Uh, nah, Urbino. There you go. Should we try? Mm, no. We don't want a royal marriage with you. You got a strong claim guy anyway, so that's not going to help. 
We'll just wait and see what happens over here. We just need to stop drilling at some point. Uh, how is my... Oh, wow, my army tradition is a joke. Let's see. Diplomatic reputation plus one and diplomatic annexation cost negative 15. Or gain... Well, I'd love to go for the diplomatic reputation. Because that's just 5.44 right now. I think that will also tie in with this. So, Brandenburg... I really need you to break that damn alliance. Uh, I need a, I need a war. I need a reason to go to war. Austria is definitely counted inwards. Uh, currently winning against Bosnia, who's down here. Uh, remember, we, we got some good allies here. Like France and the Commonwealth. Uh, and, and, and our vassals. So conversion is successful. Okay, that's, I guess, great. We could get innovativeness. I would rather go for development than for the innovativeness. If I may be honest over here. So we'll try to get everything to about 20. That would be quite nice. And apparently... Oh, I found... Yeah, okay, yeah. No, oh, makes sense. Makes sense. We'll just save it for a thousand. And prepare for war in 55. Declaring war here. Okay, so in May next year, it is time. Urbino. The Pope's no longer affiliated, which is okay. Could you flip back, dude? Is there a way for me to actually... Flip him back into my favor? Yeah, we have an alliance with him. Yeah, we're just a few points behind. We can most likely just send him a gift. He's 26, so he's not going to die anytime soon. That's not happening. And could we get a common... Would this help? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, uh, that's sad. Okay, what we need to do is support my heir immediately. Uh, there is a 36% chance of gaining support. Currently, the Commonwealth is 13 in its own favor. Austria is sucking up like crazy there. A 136 is nothing to write home about. wonder how this will go, though. I would love to get a personal union over them. That would have been so nice. Uh, Warring Denmark might be a thing here. Is there a reason for us to go to war? No diplomat to send. Ah, uh, stop building up here. It's not like we can take more than two, two provinces from them anyways. Uh, taking the capital, humiliation. Uh, we're just as strong. We could take... Yeah, you know, I don't feel like doing that war right now. If I was ruler of the HRE, I would try to take these two back. That's what I would try doing. So, we'll prepare for war here. No new troops, which is okay for now. Just love taking this entire province if, if possible. Like the Tyrol region. Quite nice. Especially because we, we got a lot of claims here that we should go for. Uh, you actually got some claims on Dortmund. How about Mainz? Nothing. Oh, Brunswick. Oh yeah, Brunswick has that very annoying alliance with England. How is that alliance going? Great Britain, Frankfurt. I need to call him in. Frankfurt and Comburg. So, let's see. Tiny country. Now, Comburg actually would not be so difficult to declare war upon. Brunswick, Verden, Regenberg. That's just 12k. We can break the alliance from Brunswick with the Great Britain. And just see how that will go. We don't... I don't think we need a hand in this small war. We'll just wait and until this goes down with Austria. We can't take territory, guys. It's just about breaking those alliances. So, easy wars, we'll go for that. Stop drilling over there. Stop, 
grilling with you. And it's 29. We can send you over there. Uh, we'll send one of you over there. Who else is allied to you? It's these two small countries and Brandenburg. Uh, Austria. He's not going to be called in. He is going to be called in. We'll break there with Great Britain. And then next time, we could potentially vassalize him and get East Frisia back. I would be very inclined to do so. Not a lot of aggressive expansion for us then. Uh, we actually we get some tech here. That's nice. Well done. I like that. How's this going? Plus 25. I don't want to fall behind. So we'll save up. Before we take this. Regiment cost. Negative 10. It's not that important. Also the discipline would be quite good. So we'll wait two, uh, two and a half years. Let's make sure that these guys get back on their feet. Potentially a general will die. Frankfurt will be in this. And I kind of want... To deal with Frankfurt. Military leader. There you go. Military leader has left us. I knew it was going to happen. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, we can send him to the Pope. Influence, uh, influential preacher. A devoted young preacher has spoken out recently about how great uh, our adherence to the teachings of the Holy F uh, Father in Rome is. You make a nice bishop. Um, no, it's a cardinal. Send him to Rome. Let's see. What else can we do here? Do we get... I would love to get a few cardinals in here. We can't do more stability. We'll just save up. Gain more mercantilism. National tax. Yearly inflation. Reduction and interest. <sighs> Just give me a cardinal, dude. That's all I'm asking for. And there we go. I think that's more than enough to start dealing with these troops. Let us declare this war. Brunswick, Verden, Orbito, and Regensburg is going to be joining, which we don't care about. Uh, France, Brandenburg, Saxony, all of those guys we don't need. How is the voting going? It's not looking good for Austria. But that will change. The time he dies... Is when that that usually changes, which is very annoying. So declare war, take that. We're not going to because I don't think we can deal with that actually. So you go there, and who ha who is going to join you, mate? Wait, really? It says a whole bunch of people, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, there we go. You go there. You go deal with those strips. And we'll um, start with Regensburg. We got those troops down, which is quite nice. We can call in allies, which we're of course not going to do. We are going to be extending this because I want the merchantilism. Because that is very good for your embargo. And you'll go deal with those troops first. There we go. We do get a very nifty penalty there. Oh, that's just my luck. But of course, we completely killed them. This is a level 1 fortress, so Maine can deal with that. And we could go towards this level 1 fortress. But I don't think he can actually reach us. Verdun. Well, let's go with Brandenburg over there. 4k coming my way, I guess. I have to be careful whether we don't cross our own troops. We can become Defender of the Faith. Eh. Yeah, I don't think so, mate. So, what we'll do is... Uh, we'll send one troop back. And take this one province. Because he's actually drilling. And I don't uh, I don't like that. So, there we go. Uh, we've gained the core province on Prague. The siege of Kullenberg is done. And where can we send you? Can we send you down there now? Yes, we can. He found a way through all of those countries. Man. Okay, we'll save up there. We can pick another one. Let's take a look here. Actually, it's the first one. Religious war score. Mercenary. Well, we're not using mercenaries. We don't have ships. Institution embrace true faith. Faith, okay. Well, let's start with the religious war score. And... 
Prestige, I don't get this one. Prestige per development from Missionaries.03. 